Hello everyone, my name is Khan. Welcome to the new video. In this video, we are going to learn that how you can trade based on the single candle mitigation and how you can identify PY using session. So basically, you will learn a lot of things in this video. First of all, you have to understand what structure is going on in a bearish market in a bullish market so first of all you have to identify where is market going on you can see here this is our five minute chart and in a five minute chart everything is a bearish if i switch here in a 15 minute chart then you can see again this one is also bearish structure is here it means momentum is a bearish in a downside but you have to identify where is our key point where is our higher high higher low lower lows lower high and where is our inducement and where is our high probability PY high probability PI basically on extreme point or you can say after taking out the inducement so basically two PY is here which market actually taken out to before to continue go higher before to continue go lower right so in this video I will explain all these things in a detail so this is a very most requested and very powerful video so look at this one as per the 15 minute chart this is our bearish structure if i start from the bottom of the structure so this one is our lowest low is here right why because if you can see in a in a left side right here this was our previous lower low is here because market taken out the inducement which one is here so once market taken out the inducement our lower low is a confirm in a bearish market so this lower low is a confirm after taking out the inducement and then what happened here what market break this one if market break this one and close below it so this become our valid change of factor but at this time market just with the liquidity so this is a not a break of structure but in a next attempt what happened here market close below it so when price close below it so this become our valid break of structure which one is here correct and in this case you can see a market react on this order block which one is here right why market react here because let me show you exactly at this point this one is a proper imbalance is here minor imbalance is here and this one is a taking out the liquidity is here so this is just additional confirmation because some people mark this is a order block right and this one is also order block but these are order block but high probability order block is here compared to this one if there is a no order block like this so you can use like this order block which one is here correct so if market taken out the liquidity those order block is much higher much high probability so market tap here and simply you don't need to sell here directly you have to wait for hit lower time frame confirmation for example this one is our last push here and when you switch here in a lower time frame then you will see chalk and inducement is here right and then you can sell here again taken out this high you can sell here but you don't need to sell exactly here you can sell also here based on the single candle order block which one is here correct so this one is our single candle order block basically use when market taken out the inducement when market taken out the major high low basically when market taken out the previous high or low those candlestick act like a high probability poi same thing happen here you can see here this one is a single candle order block is here this one not single candle order block why because this one is a not taken out the any uh, like a previous high so at this time here taken out the liquid right so this poi as a work for you and you can trade here in a lower time frame simply you can switch here in a lower time frame in this area and you can sell here okay but if you want a more refine so you can refine here in a one minute chart and then you can see multiple order block in this case and wait for mitigation and if market mitigate any one minute order block and then you can sell here after chalk and flip anti module is here okay now switch again here and after this one what happened here market continue pushing downside and at this time what happened here market create this lower low is here why because market taken out the inducement so where is inducement in this case you can see this one is our last pullback is here right so when market taken out the inducement then our lower low is a confirm here so right now this one is our lower low confirm and this become our lower high but this lower high confirm when market broke this previous low which one is here so close below it then this lower low is a confirm here and this high become our lower low sorry lower high is here right and market push downside and finally we are continue pushing downside and if market broken this structure is here so probably we are looking for the buy 
which one is here and this become our change of character because market momentum has been changed bearish to bullish right so you can buy here after taking out the inducement if inducement is a fail then you can buy on extreme point right so what happened here after this one this one is our market to continue pushing upside this one is our single leg move is here right until taken out this low so when market taken out the low is here then our structure is a confirm that this lower low is a confirm here correct and uh, this lower high is a confirm when market taken out the inducement right and this become our higher high and this is a chalk in future if market broke this high which one is here so this become our valid trick of structure is here okay and this is our higher low and higher high and this become our again higher high why because market taken out the first pullback which one is here so after taking out the pullback market mostly uh, react from the decisional and extreme py so in this case how many auto blocks is here look at this one only this auto block is here which is unmitigated and a proper imbalance is here and below it everything is mitigated here so basically you can buy here price type here give reaction and fail so this is an indication that market are not able to go higher and we can see in a downside move in a future but you have to wait for it right so how you can deal in this situation you can simply deal when price type here and keeps a reaction and failed right so you can sell after broken this one so this is the first py when you can sell and this is our and this is our area of interest when you can switch in a lower time frame in a one minute time frame and wait for chalk and flip and two module then you can sell here so this is an indication just <clears throat> okay but if you can see at this point this is the previous low is a broken here so this one is our one more additional confirmation right if this low is not broken so this is also a valid entry for the sell correct but those time this is our 50 50 percent probability because market momentum is a bullish and market can be pushed downside after taking out this high and continue go higher right so it's all about probability but when market took the previous major low and taken out the inducement so this become our high probability py for the sell and after this what happened here again market pushed downside and uh, same thing happened here this is our lower low is here correct and this lower low is a confirm here after taking out the inducement market pushed downside and where is our inducement in this case you can see this become our inducement and after taking out the inducement what happened here market tap on your extreme py where is our extreme py this one right tap here and push down side and this become our break of structure is here right so why i'm showing this one because you can identify structure and you can identify py right that's why these are very important to understand in the next attempt what happened here price close below it right so when price close below it this become our another break of structure is here let me show you this right so this become our valid break of structure but problem is here there is no inducement in this case if market not create any inducement then our structure will be changed how let me show you this one is our previous lower low is here taking out the inducement and confirm this is our higher lower high is here right but there is no inducement in this lag this is our single leg move is here but if market create any inducement like this so this become our new lower low right and taken out the inducement and maybe continue go higher and same thing will be continue as we have done this one right so there is a no inducement in this case so how you can <coughs> so how you can move your lower lows and higher low everything correct so you have to check where is our lowest point this one right this low transfer here to here okay so this basically this become our new lower low and uh, now you can see where is our higher high where is our inducement so this high act like a, our inducement because this is our internal structure like this okay so generally this so generally this is our single leg move like this okay okay and this one is a taken out so basically this move actually act like a like this okay so this is our single leg move because so many times liquidity taken out in a buy side and sell side everything so now you have a lower low is here and this become our lower high is here right because market taken out the inducement and this point become our lower high and this high transfer here to here okay so basically these are very complicated to understand but if you don't know exactly that how you can mark the structure you can watch my video i already uploaded on youtube again market break this one uh create 
break off structure is here so this become our valid break off structure is here and after break off structure you have to identify where is inducement probably this one is our inducement when market taken out the inducement we are looking for the buy and sell right so main thing break the structure find the inducement and wait for taking out the inducement and then you can sell taking out the inducement in this case there is no unmitigated order block is here right everything is mitigated here but we can sell on this py if market type here but market not mitigated this one so what the how you can deal in this situation simply you can sell after chalk or taken out the liquidity at this point simply what happened here market taken trend line liquidity okay you can sell on this candle which one is here because this candle collect all money is here so if you switch here in a one minute time frame then you will see market how sharply mitigate your one minute order block and then market push downside okay and again what happened here in this situation this become our lower low because market taken out the inducement and this become our new break off structure is here so where is our lower high in this case this high okay it means this is our range is here and in this case you have to identify where is our order block where is our inducement so in this leg you can see how many pullbacks are here so inducement is here basically this one is our first pullback is here and uh, you can see at this point this move like this okay so this is our pullback is here right and everything is here in a single leg okay and this one is also inducement but first pullback is here right so you can use first one and after taking out the inducement probably we are looking here for sell and uh, in this case where is our unmitigated shadow or anything everything is mitigated here okay and this one uh, we can use as a py and here you can sell as per the one minute time frame entry okay and everything is mitigated here there is a no unmitigated order block is here and some people mark this one is an order block but in reality this is a not order block actually why because the last buying candle before this stop is here not this one okay let me highlight this one this one so basically this is our last buying candle before the stop so this candle already mitigated by this move okay so there is no imbalance this is an inside move is here so we can't use this as a py okay so everything is mitigated here but we have a various structure break off structure is here and everything is mitigated here. so how we can identify the py simply you can trade based on the session in this type of situation also so you have to enable the session timing is here you can see this one is our red one is my asian and the blue one is our london okay so if market taken out the liquidity and then we can sell here to use the session timing i use five minute time frame to identify py to identify a uh, structure so in this case as you can see here this one is our asian london and new york open here so where is our py as per the five minute time frame so this one is our first py is here you can see here london open here and five minute time frame now seeing a visible but as per the 15 minute this is a not a much high probability okay and where is our next py look at this one is here right this one is our extreme py so between these two py first one is on extreme and this one is a decisional so which one more high probability right so to confirm any high probability you have to check which py taken out the liquidity if there is one py taken out the liquidity and another one is a just pullback so taken out the liquidity is a more high probability compared to the order block which taken out uh, which is our valid pullback which one is here correct as per the five minute time frame forget the 15 minute time frame it's all about five minute time frame when you use session timing so in this case you can see on the extreme point this high taken out the liquidity so when market taken out the liquidity it means this is our much high probability compared to the first one right if this one is already mitigated by this move so we can use this one as a py right so first of all you have to wait for to mitigate this one and one more thing you can see this one is our london open is here which act like a py which act like a, this one is our london open and this one is our london high right which act like a liquidity right in a one day at least one session will be manipulated which can be london new york and asian okay so at least one session will be manipulated in a day asian bearish london bearish and this new york trying to take out the liquidity and then we can expect a downside move is here so first of all you have to wait for it to mitigate this one okay so let's see what happened here market taken out the liquidity and mitigate this one so you can see this candle actually mitigate this one okay let me show you this is our candlestick is here 
which taken out the liquidity right so simply how you can deal in this situation in this situation you can deal when market continue go higher okay and then oh i'm sorry <clears throat> so this is our actual candlestick which taken out the liquidity and which mitigate the py so basically if you are willing to sell here directly then how you can sell here you can sell here the next candle open here and put the stop loss just above it and main target is measure low which one is here correct as per the five, uh, five minute time frame right but in this situation you can see almost two hour trade is here right but when you refine in a one minute time frame then you will see risk reward will be increased is here right so this actual candle which act like a py because this candle taken out the liquidity in a higher time frame in a five minute time frame but if you switch here in a one minute time frame then you can see where is our unmitigated order block in this case you can see here where is our unmitigated order block in a one minute time frame okay so this one is our one five minute time frame a uh, candlestick which taken out the liquidity so start always from the top of the move so this one is our candlestick is here right but this candle mitigate by the this candle okay so in this case we can use this shadow as a py because this shadow is not mitigate here let me show you this one what happen if this candle mitigate something like this one so this become our mitigate shadow is here we can't use this as in a future and this complete order block is already mitigate by this move so it means these are all mitigate is here right so how you can move your uh, like a uh, order block we can move on the next candle which one is here like this and extend like this right so simply this become our py when of we can sell in a lower time frame in a one minute time frame if price type here and always put the stop loss just above it not here because this one is a little bit risky so safer stop loss just above it okay and target always the minimum so this one is our entry criteria is here put the stop loss just above it and this is our seven hour trade okay let's see what happened next after this one okay and one more thing you have to understand higher time frame liquidity taken out so you don't need to wait for uh, like a lower time frame inducement because five minute py type here but if you waiting for one minute inducement then your trade most of the time hit when you find the py in a five minute time frame okay then most of the time you can see you can sell based on the one minute refine order block directly but condition is here you have to put the stop loss the measure five minute candle high above it okay and don't try to put the stop loss just above it okay this can be little bit risky okay and same thing will be applicable in a 15 minute time frame if you are willing to sell as per the 15 minute taken out the liquidity and you are refining in a one minute time frame you are willing to sell here so simply you can take the entry after the chalk let me show you three drawings then you can understand very important this one for example this one is our 15 minute candle is here okay so this one is a 15 minute candle and you can see this is our one minute order block and this one is also one minute order block sometime you will see one two and three okay when you see one order block then you can directly sell okay when you see multiple order block then you have to wait for to sell here okay but put the stop loss just above it because this is our 15 minute major candle high is here okay but if you want more additional confirmation then you can sell after chalk inducement and sell right because this is our decisional py and maybe market continue go higher to mitigate the middle of the move is here and then push downside wait for inducement and sell right and put the stop loss is above it but in this case which taken out the change of change of character so you can put the stop loss just above it because you are going to play in additional confirmation okay so i hope you understand what i'm trying to explain here so these are very uh, like a little bit advanced thing okay so this one is our py put the stop loss just above it and let's see what happened next after this one a uh, small reaction is here and again push downside now again switch here in a five minute time frame to see exactly what happened here look at this one look at this one this candle taken out the previous candle high it means this candle act like a single candle out of lock which one is here like this okay the previous candle high taken out and close below it so in future if market mitigate this order block and you can sell here okay because this is a five minute time frame if this is happen in a 15 minute then you need uh, some additional confirmation okay and uh, also you can sell 
here directly as per the 15 minute time frame but you have to put the stop loss just of it this high above it okay as i explained recently okay now switch again here in a one minute time frame okay but before to go one minute time frame you have to wait for to mitigate this order block is here this is our single candle order block is here again let's see what happen next after this one okay finally market mitigate this order block now you have to switch here in one minute time frame to see exactly where is our one minute order block is here in this case you can see how many order blocks is here in this case you can see only one order block is here on the extreme level which one is here uh, let's say remove these first of all remove these thing clear picture okay so this is our last candle is taken out the liquidity so you have to identify where is our unmitigated order block where is proper imbalance everything so this one is our last buying candle before the stop is here but this candle already mitigated by this move it means uh, this candle we can't use as an order block so you have to move on the next candle which one is also mitigated by this one and now switch again on the next candle which one is here so this one is a more valid why because the proper imbalance is here like this okay proper imbalance and this is our last candle is here where is everything is a fit but you have to put the stop loss just above it for the safer side and you can also put the stop loss just above it if market create any reaction here in a lower time frame i'm talking about in a one minute structure uh, sometime what happened price type here and keeps reaction and this is a one minute candlestick you can sell here and put the stop loss just above it same thing happen here market mitigate this one and this is our actual candle broken and candle close below it so in this pullback you can sell one more entry is here right okay so let's see what happened next after this one okay so finally market mitigate this one and you can sell here okay and put the stop loss just above it this is little bit risky for the safer side just above it okay but i will recommend you to put the stop loss the previous candle measure high which one is here for the safer side okay so this one is our first entry is here and the next entry when a weekend possible the next entry possible this candle taken out the liquidity it means this is our one more a pui in a one minute time frame so simply market simply you can play the here simply you can sell here and put the stop loss just over it okay and target is here right and one more entry if market broken this one and then candle close below it and again push upside okay like this and then you can also sell here you can sell until broken this low based on the single candle mitigation based on the single candle order block right here okay so let's see what happened next after this one okay market trying to push higher and you can see this low is now broken here so how you can deal in this situation candle taken out the liquidity and you can sell here also one minute order block like this okay and put the stop loss just above it and target is here right so this is our next possible entry is here based on the single candle order block if market broken this one so you don't need to trade based on the single candle order block because single candle order block basically use when market tap on POI and scale multiple position until taken out the previous recent low and high so let's see what happened next after this one okay market trying to go higher and finally market push downside and continue downside right so this one is a target hit here and these are entry i took here and uh, you can simply sell based on the single candle order block and single candle order block basically use when pressed upon pui which taken out the liquidity and then you have to switch in a one minute time frame to refine those order block and then you can sell here so i hope you understand that how you can deal based on the single candle order block single candle pui and then you can switch in a 15 minute time frame one minute time frame everywhere you can trade in a single candle order block this is a very interesting and very important so these are trades are here you can see dropping continue in a downside like this let me show you this one right and my small parcel is running here but by majority parcel taken out here almost 80 90 percent uh, i close here because i believe five to uh, between the five to ten hour is a uh, enough to take out the parcel and rest uh, amount you can put the on break even and you can take small small parcel okay but main thing to take out the uh, profit uh, after 5 hour 5 hour between the 5 hour and 10 hour i take most of the profit 80 to 90 percent right and right now these are running almost 28 hour okay 
बट आई डोंट बिलीव दिस टाइप ऑफ आर आर आई बिलीव फाइव टू टेन आर विच इज वेरी गुड फॉर यू एंड रिसेंटली ऑन अ फ्राइडे आई टेक एन आउट द लास्ट डेट ऑफ द वीक आई ऑलरेडी पोस्टेड ऑन टेलीग्राम इफ यू आर नॉट इन अ टेलीग्राम यू कैन ज्वाइन अवर फ्री टेलीग्राम लिंक इन डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड दिस वन इज ऑल्सो बेस्ड ऑन द सिंगल कैंडल ऑर्डर ब्लॉक एंड दिस इज अ लिटिल बिट रिस्की एंट्री बिकॉज आई taken out this trade on liquidity point right why this move happen here this side to mitigate here and this side to mitigate here okay and this one is also mitigate here everything is mitigate here but if you can see at this time this is our trend line liquidity which means market can we go higher before the downside in a bottom side also creating liquidity it means both side creating liquidity i took this trade i believe that if market uh, if market tap here and push down side then i believe mark before to collecting all money market continue go higher so my target is here and i took this trade is here like let me show you and this one is also based on the single candle order block is here market tap on your py which one is here right and then what happen here you can see this one is our first py it means there is no inducement nothing here market push upside taken out the liquidity and i sold here because there is no inducement market already tap on py if market taken out the inducement and market mitigate here and create same situation here then i can't take entry here okay so i take entry here because this one is our smt there is no inducement in this leg okay i believe market must be failed this one okay because this one is a smt there is a no inducement that's why i sold here and i take small partial is here because this is order block this one is a liquidity okay and take a small partial and rest break even and then this trade uh, took me out on a break even point right okay so i all right so i hope you understand that how you can deal based on the single candle mitigation and single candle order block and this is a important and very interesting video you can rewatch this video if you not understand any topic so i hope you understand how you can deal this type of situation in a higher time frame to lower time frame and this video is interesting and important you can rewatch this video i will see you in the next video happy trading